The B-1B Lancer has served as America's primary long-range heavy bomber since 1985. Known as the Bone the B-1's mission is to carry the largest conventional payload of weapons in the Air Force inventory. With top speeds of over 900 miles per hour, the B-1 is a highly versatile, multi-mission weapon system capable of rapidly delivering massive quantities of precision and non-precision weapons against any adversary, anywhere in the world, at any time. For more than 60 years, the B-52 Stratofortress has been the backbone of the strategic bomber force for the United States. Capable of flying at subsonic speeds at altitudes of 50,000 feet, the B-52's mission is delivering the widest array of weapons, in the U.S. inventory with worldwide precision. In a conventional conflict, the B-52 can perform strategic attack, close air support, air interdiction, offensive counter-air and maritime operations. The C-17 Globemaster III serves as one of the Air Force's most flexible cargo aircraft. Having a maximum payload capacity of 180,000 pounds, the C-17 is capable of rapid strategic delivery of troops and all types of cargo including equipment such as armored vehicles, trucks and trailers, and the 69-ton M1 Abrams main battle tank. The C-5 Galaxy is one of the largest aircraft in the world and the largest airlifter in the Air Force inventory. With a maximum cargo capacity of 281,000 pounds, the C-5 aircraft can carry a fully equipped combat-ready military unit to any point in the world on short notice and also provide the supplies required to help sustain the fighting force. Since 1956, the KC-135 Stratotanker has provided the core aerial refueling capability for the United States Air Force. With a maximum transfer fuel load of 200,000 pounds, nearly all internal fuel of the KC-135 can be pumped through the flying boom, to support to Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps and Allied Nation aircraft. This unique asset enhances the Air Force's capability to accomplish its primary mission of global reach. The KC-10 Extender is an Air Mobility Command advanced tanker and cargo aircraft that has provided increased global mobility for U.S. armed forces since 1981. Primarily used as an aerial refueling aircraft, the KC-10's six tanks have a capacity to carry more than 365,000 pounds of fuel. Though its primary mission is air refueling, the KC-10 can combine the tasks of a tanker and cargo aircraft and is capable of transporting litter and ambulatory patients using patient support pallets during aeromedical evacuations. The KC-46 is the first phase in recapitalizing the U.S. Air Force's aging tanker fleet. With greater refueling, cargo and aeromedical evacuation capabilities compared to the KC-135, the KC-46 will provide next-generation aerial refueling support to Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps and partner nation receivers. With a maximum fuel capacity of 212,000 pounds, and the capability to be configured with wing aerial refueling pods, the KC-46 is capable of multi-point simultaneous aerial refueling. The C-37 is a twin-engine, turbofan aircraft acquired to fill the worldwide special airlift missions for high-ranking government and Department of Defense officials. C-37s are capable of high-altitude, intercontinental flight with cruise operations from 41,000 to 51,000 feet and are equipped with both commercial and military communications equipment to provide secure and non-secure voice and data capability.
The C-12 Huron is a twin turboprop aircraft used for cargo and passenger airlift. The C-12 can carry 19 passengers or up to 3,500 pounds of cargo. In addition to providing cargo and passenger airlift, the aircraft is capable of transporting 2 litter or 10 ambulatory patients during aeromedical evacuations. The C-21 is a twin turbofan engine aircraft used for passenger and cargo airlift. The C-21 can carry 8 passengers and 42 cubic feet of cargo. In addition, the aircraft is capable of transporting 1 litter or 5 ambulatory patients for aeromedical evacuation operations. The UC-35 is a multi-purpose, low-wing, business jet monoplane with a pod-mounted engine on each side of the aft fuselage. The primary function of the UC-35 is accommodating passenger and cargo airlift. The AC-130U Spooky gunship's primary missions are close air support, air interdiction and armed reconnaissance. These heavily armed aircraft incorporate side-firing weapons integrated with sophisticated sensor, navigation, and fire control systems to provide surgical firepower or area saturation during extended loiter periods, day or night and in adverse weather. The HC-130 is an extended range, search and rescue, combat search and rescue version of the C-130 Hercules military transport aircraft used by both the U.S. Air Force and Coast Guard. The primary functions of the HC-130 for the Coast Guard is long-range overwater search missions, support airlift, maritime patrol, North Atlantic Ice Patrol and command and control of search and rescue. The F-15 Eagle is an extremely maneuverable, all-weather, tactical fighter designed to permit the Air Force to gain and maintain air supremacy over the battlefield. With top speeds of 1,875 miles per hour, a combination of maneuverability acceleration, range, weapons and avionics, the F-15 can penetrate enemy defense and outperform and outfight any current enemy aircraft. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a compact, multi-role fighter aircraft. It is highly maneuverable and has proven itself in air-to-air -air combat and air-to-surface attack. It provides a relatively low-cost, high-performance weapon system for the United States and allied nations. In an air combat role, the F-16 can locate targets in all weather conditions and detect low-flying aircraft. In an air-to-surface role, the F-16 can fly more than 500 miles, deliver its weapons with superior accuracy, defend itself against enemy aircraft, and return to its starting point. The F-35 Lightning is the Air Force's latest fifth-generation fighter. It will replace the U.S. Air Force's aging fleet of F-16 Fighting Falcons and A-10 Thunderbolt IIs, which have been the primary fighter aircraft for more than 20 years. The F-35 brings with it an enhanced capability to survive in the advanced threat environment in which it was designed to operate. With its aerodynamic performance and advanced integrated avionics, the F-35 will provide next-generation stealth, enhanced situational awareness, 
and reduced vulnerability for the United States and allied nations. The F-22 Raptor is the Air Force's newest fighter aircraft. Its combination of stealth, supercruise, maneuverability, and integrated avionics, represents an exponential leap in warfighting capabilities. The Raptor performs both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, and is designed to project air dominance, rapidly and at great distances the F-22 cannot be matched by any known or projected fighter aircraft. The T-6 Texan is a single-engine, two-seat trainer aircraft designed to train joint primary pilot training students. With stepped tandem seating the Texan is used to provide students with the basic skills necessary to progress to one of four training tracks including strike aircraft, airlift and tanker, turboprop and helicopters. The T-1A Jayhawk is a medium-range, twin-engine jet trainer used in the advanced phase of specialized undergraduate pilot training for students selected to fly airlift or tanker aircraft. Used for student training since 1993, the T-1A has cockpit seating for an instructor and two students and is powered by twin turbofan engines capable of an operating speed of 538 miles per hour. The T-38 Talon is a twin-engine, high-altitude, supersonic jet trainer used in a variety of roles because of its design, economy of operations, ease of maintenance, high performance and exceptional safety record. Air Education and Training Command uses the T-38C to prepare pilots for frontline fighter and bomber aircraft such as the F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, B-1B Lancer, A-10 Thunderbolt and F-22 Raptor. The CH-47 Chinook is the Army's only heavy-lift cargo helicopter supporting combat and other critical operations. The CH-47 tactically transports forces and associated equipment and provides routine aerial sustainment of maneuver forces. Secondary missions of the Chinook include medical evacuation, search and rescue, parachute drops, disaster relief and aircraft recovery. The primary mission of the HH-60 Pave Hawk helicopter is to conduct day or night personnel recovery operations into hostile environments to recover isolated personnel during war. The HH-60 is also tasked to perform military operations other than war, including civil search and rescue, medical evacuation, disaster response, humanitarian assistance and rescue command and control. The MH-60 is a medium-range recovery helicopter that is capable of variety of missions. The MH-60 can fly in all weather conditions and is utilized by the Army, Air Force, Coast Guard and Navy. Used primarily as a medium-lift, utility or assault helicopter, the MH-60's functions vary based on particular military service. The TH-57 is primarily used for advanced training for Navy, Marine Corps and Coast Guard rotary wing pilots. The TH-57 Sea Ranger provides basic helicopter training and advanced instrument flight rules training to several hundred aviation students a year at Naval Air Station Whiting Field in Milton, Florida. The P-8 Poseidon is the U.S. Navy's multi-mission maritime patrol and reconnaissance aircraft. The P-8 efficiently conducts anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and humanitarian response. The capabilities of the P-8 are enhanced through secure, interoperable, net-ready systems. While the aircraft is equipped with high-quality weapon systems, it also has an open architecture to allow for expansion. <laughs>